Hello, StarCraft fans! It's Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered! Today we've got a game between Buxer and Terran here on Lost Temple. Apparently a million people are watching this. I've never seen this many observers in a replay before, but hey. Alright, so this is a 2002 replay. Oh, look how old this is. You, the observers have to float off... <laughs> have to float off their... Uh, there we go. These two, these command centers have to float off. The SCVs have to kill each other and then hide in a corner. That's how long ago this was. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so this is from sc2legacy.com. The, the article is titled, The 10 Pimpest Plays of 2002. So uh, this is this is an old one. This is going to be Boxer on the left side here. Our green Terran player against Terran. With an at for an A there on his name. The purple Protoss player. This is going to throw me, you guys. <sighs> Kurtos's name is Terran is going to hurt so much, but I'll do my best. I'll do my best with it. Oh, this is so good. This is not even, you have to kill your SCVs. That's how this works. I guess hiding... I don't know. You can mess up the game. Yeah, before there was actually an observer setup, right? Before there was an observer setup for the StarCraft Brood War scene where you just loaded in as an observer. You didn't have to have buildings. You came in as a player uh, allied with... You're just... Was it an observer option? I can't remember. But basically, you had to have a command center. So you lift them up and hide them up here, and then your SCVs should actually be killing each other. as what they should be doing. These guys should not exist. I don't know why they exist. Anyway, Terran is scouting here. We do have our very, very first barracks on the way for Boxer. This is definitely Boxer, you guys. I know the last Boxer replay I cast, people are like, that's not Boxer. His APM wasn't 600 in the first minutes of the game. Well, this is definitely Boxer, and his APM is only 300. So I don't know what you guys are talking about. I'm doing my best. I'm, I'm finding Boxer replays. Actually, somebody emailed this to me. Someone who is a subscriber to the channel was like, hey, dude, check these out. These are replays from back a long time ago from players who are awesome. And I said, oh my gosh, thank goodness. Thank you so much. I've been looking for Boxer replays that are really hard to find, but apparently sc2legacy.com had a bunch. So go check those guys out. If you want a link to the article of these 10 pimpest plays, um, I I'll send you a link. I won't send it to you, but I'll put it in the description or reply to your comment, whatever you want me to do. This is such a big, stupid production tab. Look how many production tabs there are. How come these guys had to have command centers, but nobody else did? 2002 was a long time ago, you guys. I don't know. I, I don't know what I don't know what to tell you. Regardless, nothing much is happening here. It's n it's your standard PVT setup. Got your cyber core on the way. Nobody has an expansion quite yet. The meta is not to the point where you got a quick a quick expansion, so nobody is at this point. It's marine production for Boxer. He's going into a factory, which is going to be really good. Mech still pretty fantastic against your Protoss opponents. And Terran just needs to be moving on into Dragoons for the most part. Zealots and stuff. He is making a Dragoon. Is he working on the upgrade Singularity Charge? No. At this stage, he is not. God, Terran music, music is the best in Bird War. I know I've said this before. You can fight me if you want. But I believe it is. All right, so Boxer is scouting this top right-hand corner base. Is this where my Protoss opponent is? Nope. Definitely not. This is Lost Temple, right? There's your main. There's your expansion. Yeah. Yeah, this is Lost Temple. Man, this map has had such a shelf life. Such a life of being played. Still in the StarCraft II uh, custom map pool as well. If you're interested in playing some Lost Temple stuff, Brood War has it at the same time. What are we killing here? Ah, Marine on the high ground. He's trying to chase down this Dragoon. The Dragoon says, no, I'm going to stay out of the way. I'm going to put some pressure on, if at all possible, here. Going to try to kill you. Singularity Charge is being researched. That poor pathing on the Dragoon. It wants to get up that ramp. has a hard time doing it. Really hard time doing it. So putting some harassment up. That range is actually not that far on the Dragoons. There are no more barracks in production here. There's a tank, though. That's... Thank goodness for that. And a very quick starport with a control... Starport? Yeah. Terran starport with a control tower. Tanks not even in siege mode, but can get rid of these Dragoons, especially if the Dragoon does not have range. Is he actually researching range? You know what? He's not. Can't... No, there's no way. He gets the Dragoon! What a boss. What a boss boxer is. I know he is, based on how many requests I've gotten for him on the channel. I remember watching him. I didn't realize he was as popular as all of that. 
Is he even bothering? He is getting siege. All right, so we are going to see siege on this tank. He's going to try to kill this here probe. If we can get down that ramp. Again, ramps, a major, major obstacle for pathing for these units. Two. Three. So two kills on this tank. Winner. It's a winner, winner, chicken dinner tank so far. That is a very quick dropship from our friend Boxer. And what else is he doing here? Science facility. Five minute science facility out of Boxer. All right, that's fairly interesting. So Citadel of Adun, Observatory, and another gateway on the way here for Terran. Is he gonna expand? Nobody's interested in expanding yet. Again, the meta is extremely different back in 2002 compared to like a 2010, 2012 or so. So there's your science facility. Control tower is necessary to build the science facility and an academy. This has gotta be ghosts. I feel like this has to be ghosts. Did he just tank drop the crap at? Yes. He tank dropped the ever-loving everything out of Terran here. Uh, Dragoons, get on in. Try to do this thing. Dang, Boxer. Is he actually... There's no way he can get the Nexus, right? I don't think so. He's trying to kite his way back. <laughs> Let's see how injured everything is here. Okay, so one of the tanks... Man, alive. Look at this, Boxer. And he escapes. One tank is severely injured. And the dropship is also super hurt there too. But the probes are going back to work. We're doing okay. We're doing just fine here. That is a covert ops. Yes. Covert ops on the way. And a science vessel. And that means this command center is going to build a nuclear silo. I don't see anything else that we can do here with the covert ops we've got going on. I mean, he's defending, he's got some defense, he's got some vultures, got a tank there with siege mode. He really slowed down the economy of Terran quite well. Uh, Terran's APM is not all that high. I'm not convinced that Terran is that great of a player, but nevertheless, this was on the Pimpus Plays list. So we're going to cast this game regardless. Engineering bay down here, likely just going to be for missile turrets and detection. Yeah, a couple missile, missile turrets down here. Potentially worried about some... Uh, where are those? Some of those shuttles that could possibly come out here. All right. Uh, we can make ghosts. Where are we? Barracks. Make a ghost. No. Not going to make a ghost. Oh, he's trying to hide the construction of this nuclear silo with an engineering bay. And shoving away observers with missile turrets here, too. He is trying to hide this thing. Ah, observer does get picked off by additional missile turrets being constructed by Boxer. He is hiding so hard right now. This has got to be setting off all of the warning bells in Terran's head. He has to say, all right, what is going on? Why is this happening? Why is there a one basing boxer? What is he trying to do to me? I don't dare to expand because he's not expanding. Look at that worker count though, compared to what we're dealing with here from Terran. Actually, Terran's not doing too bad for that tank drop that did so much damage previously. Oh, expand a ninja nexus out of Terran in the top right. Are you kidding right now? And there's our ghost. We have our ghosts in production, ladies and gentlemen. Nuclear silo is complete. Is he making a nuke? No, it is getting personal cloaking. Personnel cloaking. It's actually personal cloaking with one N and an A in StarCraft 2 and personnel cloaking in StarCraft 1. What the heck, Blizzard? Can we be consistent with that, please? That threw me off so bad when I started casting StarCraft 2. I was like, it's personnel cloaking. And then someone said, no, Falcon. It's personal cloaking. I was like, no, it's not. That's stupid. And then I looked and it was personal cloaking. Short story. That's all it is. Uh, still nuke. No, still no nukes. Still not interested in making the nukes. We have the cloak, though. We have the ghosts. Here he is. Let's look at the ghost in Remastered. Yeah. He's pretty awesome. He's pretty cool looking. It's kind of got baggy pants going on. That guy in the missile turret, man. Just still spinning to this day. That cannot be good for your anything. Right, Vulture is here. Can this Vulture shut down this cannon production? No. Kind of. Does it actually do enough damage to overcome the... The, the warping in? Yeah, look at that. 2, 3, 10. 2, 2, 3, 10. 1, 2, 3, 10. 1, 2, 3, 10. So, at least in this patch of StarCraft, the Vulture did enough damage to shut down the construction of a cannon. Which is amazing. Honestly, it is. Dragoons running across the map. Observers scouting stuff here, too. 
But Voxer just doing his thing, man. He's just here hanging out. He's finally making his nuke, and it's just about complete. It's getting Optical Flare. Oh my god, is that blind? Yeah, Optical Flare is the blind ability for medics. What the what? Okay, haven't seen that researched. As well as, uh, as well as EMP Shockwave for the science facilities. Yeah, Flare drops the vision of any unit to one. So maybe he's going to try to throw it on the observers. Okay, so maybe that's the plan. The plan is there is a Dark Templar out too, just hanging out for Terran. <laughs> this is such a weird game. I love it. I love that it is such a weird game. So yeah, I suppose what we could be doing as you repair up the dropship is use the science facility to spot the observers and then blind them. So the detection is minimal for our Protoss player because he doesn't have any cannons. Okay, he has one cannon. He doesn't have many cannons and the ghost can easily avoid any detection as long as the observers are not able to detect things. This is such a different meta, you guys. These I'm going to be casting a bunch of these, so be prepared for old stuff and weird stuff. Where nobody has expansions for 10 minutes into the game. Okay, I lied. Terran has an expansion. It's a ninja one that was scouted, mind you. Does he get that? Never got that cannon back up. He's not worried about future vulture attacks, apparently. This vulture is counting to see, are there any more ninja bases? No, absolutely not. Definitely not. Oh. Well, here we are. Here we are on the ground. Medics are healing each other quite nicely here. The Vulture's trying to finish off these Dragoons. Ah, did throw down the blind on the Observer. And here comes our nuke. <laughs> Finishes off the Nexus and all of these workers. Boxer, with no regard for human life. All right, goodbye first base. That was insane. Did you see that? He had the two Medics healing each other. While the Dragoons tried to kill them, he threw down the Flare on the Observer. So the Observer's basically useless at this point. Cannot detect worth beans. And got the nuke off. Good golly. Good golly. Alright. Uh, what's your follow-up though, man? What's your follow-up, Boxer? You have a couple tanks. You've got a couple vultures. Five of them, I guess. Maybe six. Is he making another nuke? He's making another nuke. So when in doubt... Apparently, just continue... To make nukes. There he is. There's our guy. Here's our medic. Where's our other medic? Science Vessel scouting in to see if there's anything we need to worry about. And absolutely no, there's not. Definitely not anything we need to worry about. And here it is. Nuke number two. Right on the center. Oh! Oh! He EMP'd the Nexus! Removing all of the shields on that thing. So it goes down by the nuke. That's amazing. Boxer. 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 Okay. So. <laughs> and Darren decides that he's out. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Oh, Boxer. Okay. I don't... Okay. There were a lot of patches between 2002 and today. But EMPs have always removed all shields off of Protoss buildings. Have nukes always done 750 damage is my question. It doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you on that tool tip. But yeah, so the science vessel comes in, EMPs the Nexus, EMPs the Nexus, nuke lands, kills everybody... Everybody and the Nexus, and that's it. Terran's done. He can't rebuild a base, and he's out. Again, this is early. This is not incredibly high-level Gosu stuff out of anyone, because in 2002, not every, I don't think the level of high-level play we see today existed back then, okay? But it's just Boxer displaying really creative play. Really, really creative... Creative? Creativity stuff out of his brain and really showed us what he's capable of. What a boss. All right. All right, bit of a short one today for your Brood War Tuesday, but I hope it was entertaining nevertheless, and that's going to be it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself.